Hi, now I would like to show you some examples of how you can combine your microbit with other things. So on this table I have three examples. I'm of course going to make use of a microbit. I'm going to combine it with this accessory which is called the edge connector breakout board. And what this does is when you plug in your microbit you get access to all the 20 pins that are here on the edge of the microbit. So you do that by putting in the microbit like this. You can also put it backwards so it doesn't make any difference. It will work like that. And you see we have a bunch of pins over here where you can connect electronics or you have the possibility of soldering on your electronics. So what I connected in this case is a little servo motor and connected it to the microbit and I put in a program where based on how much light uh, the light sensor of the microbit senses uh, the servo motor will move to a, a different position. So let's hit this USB cable. There we go. So it's bright and it's dark. And it's bright and now it's dark. Then here for the second example, I'm making use of a different accessory, which is called a motor driver board. And this board you use when you want to control things that require more power than the microbit can handle. So for example, motors and stuff. And uh, this example is actually a kit that we bought online. And uh, as you can see over here, we have a microbit and the motor board. And then we have some more electronics on the bottom here. And these two light sensors, which are on the bottom, are going to uh, make sure that the microbit can follow this black line on the table. Or at least that's the idea. Let's see how it goes. As you can see, it's not perfect. Uh, and that's a good thing because now you get to change the program on the microbit to try to improve this car and see, okay, what is it that works, what doesn't work, and how can we yeah, work with this. So it's a, it's a nice, uh, very nice project to do yourself. Then in this last example, I'm going to make use of two microbits together and they'll be communicating with their radio signals. So I'll be having one microbit sending uh, the accelerometer uh, values to the other one which will show it as a graph and also the other way around this one will send its values to the first one which will show it as a graph so let's see what happens when we plug it in and we use two battery packs over here there we go so now when I rotate this one, you see the graph changes on the second microbit. But if I rotate that one, the graph changes on the first microbit. So this is an example that shows that you can have microbits communicate with each other. And what you use this communication for is totally up to you. So you can yeah, create your own projects, find your own use for it. Mm -hmm.